multiply the following and simplify the result. Exercise A, we have 2 plus the square root of 11 multiplied by 8 minus the square root of 5. So these look like binomials, and so we will apply the distributive property and FOIL this out, however you want to think of it. So we have 2 times 8, which is 16, and then we have 2 times negative square root of 5, so minus 2 square root 5. Then we have the square root of 11 times 8, and so that would be plus 8 times the square root of 11. And then we have the square root of 11 times uh, negative square root of 5, so minus the square root of 55. Now we look over this and say, are there any like radicals? Can we simplify any of the radicals? Square root of 5, we cannot simplify square root of 11. We cannot simplify the square root of 55 is just 5 times 11, and it cannot be simplified. There are no like radical terms, so we would have to leave this exercise, uh, this expression as it stands. Exercise B, we have 3 minus the square root of 5 squared. So what I'll do is I'll rewrite that as 3 minus the square root of 5 times 3 minus the square root of 5 and FOIL from there. Now if you remember the general form, if we have a minus b square, that's a square minus 2ab plus b square. If you recall that from special products, then you can use that as well. Either way, we now have, let's see, 3 times negative square root of 5, so, I'm sorry, 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times negative square root of 5 minus 3 square root of 5, then minus square root of 5 times 3, again that's a minus 3 square root of 5, and then we have a negative times a negative, so plus the square root of 5 squared, or the square root of 25, however you want to think of it, and so we now have 9, combining these like radicals, that's minus 6 times the square root of 5, and the square root of 5 squared is 5, and combining the like terms, we have 9 plus 5 is 14, so 14 minus 6 times the square root of 5. Now these are not like radicals, so they cannot be combined any further, and so we would leave the expression at that point.